Before we got started with our interview, we were just talking about hiring people and, you know, people reacting to the word no, people reacting to the word yes. Can you talk about that and, and what that means to you? Yeah, it's a, a little practice that I have adapted and still, I, I think I, I play around with it, um, is to, when hiring someone or working with someone or going into any form of partnership or pl place where I'll have to interact with someone, I watch the way they respond to no. And even if I have to kind of strum up an opportunity where I can tell them no early on, or even if it's not a no, it's like, all right, give me a second, be patient, whatever it is. Now, in those early stages, they're not gonna come out and say these things. You have to be very, very, very perceptive, but just see how they react to that. And that is going to usually be a telltale sign to something about their character that you might have to keep an eye on. And I say I play around with it because I've actually seen this work where I've never been wrong. It's like, okay, they, I saw the way they responded to no. Even a year from then, they're having a horrible situation with a coworker or cast member or this or that. And it comes down to that one thing where I saw they can't handle the no. Or there's something that stirs up in them from a no. And what I've seen is, you know, you can like simplify it to being childhood of maybe mom told them no too much, or maybe mom told them no, not enough, like ever. Or um, the teacher kind of was like, well, they're a special kid, let's let them do what they want, or whatever it is where you had freedom to do something that maybe wasn't the most like healthy freedom, um, where you needed some boundaries or whatever it is. Um, uh, the, some people are then able to mature and seek out what they didn't get but most people aren't. Most of us just aren't that mature. It's just is what it is. So we're, we're gonna fall into a space that we were prone to from childhood. Even if you don't see it in certain moments, you're gonna see it when things get bad. And with film, things are gonna get bad at least one day. <laughs> it's like the moment of truth. Like you get to know people so much after you film a film with people, everyone's like, oh, I love you. And whatever does that happen? You work with somebody for a year and you love them. Like, we can work at, um, uh, I don't know, a, a plant, Amazon, and like, I don't even know, what are their kids' names? Like, you don't know anything about a person. You don't have any feelings for the person, but the feelings are high because you're very connected. It's intimate spaces, it's long days. It's things that are uncontrollable, like weather and finance and whatever, things that you just can't control. So it, um, it's gonna stir up uh, people in a, a more aggressive way than other vehicles, right? So knowing that, you need to know how they respond to no. You need to know how they respond to an obstacle. And you need to know how they're going to interact when they're upset about something or not happy about something or didn't like something. And the way that I find that out in a very limited way is to early on, even sometimes before I hire them, is to tell them no or wait. Or I don't really like when you said that. How do they respond to that? Like um, Scott, who I work with, uh, he's very much a part of um, our company, The Audacity, but also he directed um, the film, um, uh, the film I last worked on, and he is like the best at, I don't really like that, and he's like, oh, why don't you like it? That's his response. That's awesome. It's not, how dare you? It's like, no, it's okay. Like, now let's talk. I don't like that. You don't like that? Why? So, but if someone's like, I don't like, I don't like when you said such and such, or I don't really like that idea, and they're like, they get sad. That doesn't mean don't work with them. That just means be mindful that this person may not be able to take those moments. And you're gonna to have to have those moments when being creative. Creatives have to be, feel confident to talk and they can't be shut down by a no. So there's someone I'm working with now even like, brilliant, but the, the no's are, when the other team's like, ah, what about this? I don't really like the idea, what about this? You see them pulling back and kind of putting a wall up and digging into that a little bit more. They didn't have those opportunities to kind of like show themselves as a kid and be validated by showing themselves. It was more like stay in your place. Uh-uh, not right now, not right now, mm -mm, no, stay here. So when that person starts to feel a little comfortable and they say what they were thinking, I need the team to be mindful. Now's not the time to criticize, except what they just said. And then we're going to deliver this a little bit more softer than I do. I would with Scott. Cause Scott, you like, no, I don't like it. All right, why? Like, you know, it's, it's, it's being, mindful of people, being careful with it, but knowing that this is gonna be necessary. So if it's necessary for me to tell you I don't like your idea, let's find out how you react to that earlier than where I'm like, 
oh my gosh, we have a deadline and this person literally will not write now because now they're just having a mental breakdown because they don't like their idea. Because that can derail a whole project. So finding that out early on in a fun little way, <laughs> a very easy way that I, I have adapted to my own likes is, yes, finding out how they respond to no or wait or I don't like it.